Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be king or queen for a day? How about nine days? That's how long Lady Jane Grey ruled England in 1553. But what could possibly happen for her rule to last only nine days? Who was Lady Jane Grey and how did she end up on the throne? In this video, we're going to tell you the tragic story of the Nine Days Queen. Lady Jane Grey was born in 1537 into one of the most powerful families in England. She was the great-granddaughter of King Henry VII and the cousin of King Edward VI, who was only a few months older than her. She was reportedly a brilliant scholar who learned several languages and studied the classics. She was deeply religious and became a devout Protestant. When she was just nine years old, she went to live with Catherine Parr, the sixth and last wife of King Henry VIII. Catherine was kind and loving to Jane and taught her about the Reformed faith. Jane also met Catherine's husband, Thomas Seymour. Seymour would become embroiled in quite a lot of trouble. He was accused of numerous separate accounts of treason, including trying to kidnap King Edward VI. His plans were foiled and he ended up shooting the king's beloved dog. He was executed for treason in 1540. Lady Jane Grey stayed with Catherine Parr. Jane's father was Henry Grey, the Duke of Suffolk. He was ambitious and greedy, and he wanted to use his daughter to gain more power and wealth. He arranged for Jane to marry Guilford Dudley, the son of John Dudley, the Duke of Northumberland. Northumberland was the chief minister in England that had a lot of influence over the young king, Edward VI. Edward VI was sickly and dying. He knew he didn't have much time, and he wanted to make sure that England remained Protestant after his death. He had two half-sisters, Mary and Elizabeth, but they were both illegitimate, according to his father, Henry VIII's will. Mary was also Catholic, and Edward feared that she would undo all the religious reforms if she became queen. So Edward decided to change the succession. He signed a document called My Device for Succession, written and drafted by Northumberland and his lawyers. This document named Lady Jane Grey as his heir and excluded his sisters from the throne. He did this with the help of Northumberland, who hoped to rule through Jane and Guildford. Edward VI died in July 1553. Four days later, Lady Jane Grey was proclaimed queen at Northumberland's command. It's not clear whether Lady Jane Grey wanted to be queen, she was only 16 years old. She knew that her claim was weak and unpopular. She cried when she heard the news and begged Northumberland to spare her from the burden. She took the fray reluctantly. Lady Jane Grey's reign didn't last long. Mary Tudor, Edward's older sister, refused to give up her rights to the throne. She gathered an army of supporters who rallied behind her as the rightful queen. Many people in England preferred Mary over Jane because they saw Jane as a puppet of Northumberland and a traitor to their faith. In July 1553, after only nine days as queen, Lady Jane was deposed by Mary, who entered London in triumph. Lady Jane and Guildford were arrested and imprisoned in the Tower of London, along with their fathers and other supporters. Northumberland was tried and executed for treason and he confessed that he had been wrong to oppose Mary. Lady Jane and Guildford were also convicted of treason, but Mary spared their lives for a while, hoping that they would convert to Catholicism. Lady Jane Grey remained faithful to her Protestant beliefs and refused to renounce them. She also became a symbol of resistance for some Protestants, who plotted to overthrow Mary and restore Jane to the throne. One of these plots was led by Jane's father, the Duke of Suffolk, who joined a rebellion known as Wyatt's Rebellion in 1554. The rebellion failed and Suffolk was captured and executed. His involvement sealed Jane's fate as Mary could no longer show her any mercy. Lady Jane Grey and Guilford Dudley were sentenced to death and beheaded in February 1554. Jane was only 16 or 17 at the time. She died with courage and dignity, refusing to give up her Protestant beliefs. Jane's story is one of the most tragic and noticeable in English history. She was in large part a young girl who was used by powerful men for their own ambitions. She was young and someone who loved learning and reading. She was a devout Christian and stood by her faith until the very end. She was a queen who may never have truly wanted to be one and who ruled for only nine days. 
the shortest reign in British history. <laughs>